Okay, guys. So what we'll be doing next is we will be transitioning into Java network programming. And we will do a very simple example in which we will look at a URL and different areas of that URL. So we'll just bring in a URL into the Java code and the Java code will actually help us take portions out of that URL. So this will be our very first example here. So let's create a new class which we will call Java URL one with a public static void main. Okay, so go to webadvisor.gtc.edu, whatever URL you see, copy it and paste it in URL string. System.out.println. The first thing I want to take out from the URL is the URL protocol, which can be taken by using the get protocol method over a network. So it's a set of rules. So different kinds of communications would use different protocols. This particular communication is using what protocol? HTTPS, which is HTTP secure. So now when you run this example, you will get one line of output and that will be that the protocol that you're using is HTTPS. Now, let's copy this and paste it right below and we're going to call this one, okay, what is the host name? So URL dot get host and run it and this will only going to grab the host name portion out next copy this and paste it again and let's grab the file name so instead of get host you get file and run it and what do you see in the file name Anything after the host name is all file name. Okay. In the file name, you will notice that it's a combination of folder, which is WA, slash WA, which is the file name, question mark. What is question mark? Anytime you see a question mark in the URL, it means whatever is after are the set of parameters and values that you can pass. This is the name of the parameter. This is the value of the parameter. If there are more than one parameters, they are separated by an ampersand. And that's how you have a list of parameters and values. Okay, so the file gives you all that. Now you can also uh, pull out the query portion. So you can say query is and you can now get query. And what does that do? That gives you every parameter in the URL along with its value. So it just bypasses the file and the folder and only gonna I'll only give you the parameters and the values because that's what the query is.
Also, you can get port number. And what is port number? The port number is the opening on the machine through which you are communicating with that machine. It's a communication entry or exit point. And you can see that the port number on which we are communicating on the server, port 443. 